Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this Barbie pink cut crease makeup tutorial. For this look, we're going to be using the ColourPop Smoke and Roses palette and I'm going to be going in with this shade as you guys can see on the screen and I'm just lightly going to be tapping this all over my crease. The only reason why I'm using tapping motions you guys is because I didn't set my concealer and I purposely did this because I wanted to get the best pigmentation out of this eyeshadow. Next, I'm just going in with a lighter shade of pink you guys just to blend out the other eyeshadow color. Comment down below if you guys are going to go see the Barbie movie because this was all inspired by the Barbie movie. I can't wait to see it, you guys. Let me know if you guys did watch it already, though. <laughs> Next, you guys, I'm going in with this darker shade of pink. As you guys can see, the look is kind of coming together. And I'm going to go back in with the other brush that I used to blend out the top on my brow bone. So we're just going to use this with absolutely no product. It is just to blend out the eyeshadows. I've completely missed filming these types of videos for you guys, but I'm happy to announce that I have about five other makeup tutorials ready for you guys with similar glams like this, so stay tuned for that, okay? Next, I'm going to be going in with this makeup remover liquid, you guys, and I'm using a pointy Q-tip just to clean out my crease before I actually apply any type of concealer. And as you guys can see, I'm just gently going across, marking my crease because I'm doing this slightly above it only because my eyes are a teeny tiny bit hooded. So when I open my eyes, I want this dramatic look to actually be noticeable. So I'm going a little bit above my crease. And I'm just wiping some of that away with my finger. I'm going to be using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. And I'm going to be dragging this across that same area only to make it a lot sharper than it already looks. As you guys can see, using a concealer to clean this area out definitely brings out the pink in this eyeshadow. It makes it look a lot brighter. So I recommend you guys use this kind of concealer to shade these types of areas in just to give it that extra dramatic effect. Next, I'm using this beauty sponge from my website, you guys. Like I said, the link is below if you guys want to, you know, go check that out. And I'm just going to slightly tap along my eye just to make it a smooth canvas, you know, to apply the rest of this eyeshadow. Now I'm using the lightest shade that I used on my lid, you guys, and I'm just going to be using tapping motions to apply this. And as you guys can see, I have moved on to the second shade. This tutorial is going by way too fast for me. <laughs> and I'm just simply applying this right under that light pink. You do not want to go above it. And you guys, after this, we're going to go with the second darkest shade that we used for this eyeshadow look. And we're simply going to be blending this right underneath these two colors. Just so we can get the same effect that we got at the very top of our eyeshadow. Since this eyeshadow, you guys, is very dramatic, I am not going to be shy about dragging it all the way out there. Way past my eyebrow, as you guys can see, because we're going to be cutting that out right now and it's going to look so bomb. Right now, I'm just going back in with the light shade just to blend the shades out together, as you guys can see. And we're going to be going in with this really, really, really smooth baby pink. We're going to be adding this shade onto the rest of our lid, exactly where we have the clear space with concealer. And make sure you guys try not to touch that sharp crease that we created at the top because we don't want it to look weird with the light pink over it. So as you guys can see, I'm being very, very careful and I'm even raising my brow up a little bit just so I'm not really touching that line. Now I'm adding a little bit of more of that dark shade just to darken it up a little bit because when we blended it, it did go away a little. And now I'm going in with this shimmery shade just to cover up this area so it doesn't just look blank, which is going to give this an extra pop. Next, we're going to be adding some glitter, you guys, just to make this a fuller, more intense look. And I'm using this eyelash glue, which is from my brand. The link is down below if you guys want to purchase it. And I'm going to be adding the glitter on top. This is my pink chunky glitter also from my website. You can add as much as you want. I am personally just going to be adding a little bit onto here just because I don't want it to be too much. And don't go anywhere, you guys, because we are not done yet. We also have to get to the best part right now where we are going to cut that edge off with this Q-tip and some makeup remover liquid. 
And as you guys can see, this look is coming together. It is giving. Please comment the word Barbie down below if you have made it this far into the video. I would appreciate it so much because then I know that you're a real one and you're watching my videos all the way through. After we're done cleaning this sharp edge, you guys, make sure you get the most pink off of your face because it is very, very messy. It does give a lot of fallout. So let's just use that same Q-tip and kind of rub it up against all that extra pink stuff. And with your hand, just kind of wipe it away since it's kind of oily from the makeup remover liquid. And then we have a clean space to work with. Now I'm going in with my Better Than Sex mascara, just a small amount. I have small lashes, you guys. <laughs> and this is just so they can blend in with our falsies, which I'm going to be applying right now. These are the lashes in the style Leslie, and you can find these on my website as well. Like I said, the link is down below. They're very, very dramatic, and I thought that they would be perfect for this glam. As you guys can see, I'm showing you guys how I apply it from the outer corner and then work my way towards the inner corner to make sure it is very well attached. Now, give me one second, you guys. I'm going to go do the other eye, and I'll be right back to show you guys the results on this glam there she is here we have the full barbie pink cut crease makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to follow me on instagram and tiktok it is right here on the screen it's the same name on all platforms mrs emily paints i do mini tutorials on there you guys and transition videos so make sure you guys follow me on there and also some live streams anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate you guys so much remember to subscribe like this video and you guys like always i will see you guys in my next video bye